I'm well past the top of the racket now. This right here is a grommet hole on the side of the racket. And my strings have to go come out there and go in here. That way they'll lay down in that groove right here on this side of the racket. If they come out here and go in here, there's no groove for them to lay in. So I'm going to start my crosses right here. Okay, I've got about the first five or six crosses ran in, and you can see here from the loops of string that I've got in here that when I pull tension down on these strings, they're going to lay right down in those little slots. If they don't, then you started on the wrong side, and you need to get your strings out and start all over again on the other side. You can see the same thing on the other side of the racket. These two strings here are connected, but I've got a loop here so I can pull tension. And from here to here, I've got a groove. Here to here, I've got a groove. Here to over here, I've got a groove, but it's hard to see. Now that I know I'm started correctly, I'm going to hold this top cross with a starting clamp and pull tension on the top cross. I've got 20 crosses in this racket, but I've only got 14 empty grommet holes. But remember, I had six shared grommet holes. So I have a cross string and a main string in grommet holes 7, 8, and 10 in the head of the racket. And I'm also going to do the same thing in the throat of the racket. Since I've only... So now I'm pulling tension on the top cross. And I'm just going to work my way down the racket. 